Hey guys, uh, welcome to another support video of Nexus Themes. My name is Gert and in today's video I'm gonna answer the question we got from David. And David is using one of our themes and he would like to use a transparent slide. So that's what this video is about. If you want to create an image, a transparent image for your specific scenario, be sure to know the dimensions. In this case, each of these slides is 1400 pixels wide and 400 pixels is the height. So I'll, I will need a transparent image of 1400 by 400 pixels. And the easiest way probably to do, to create a transparent image would be to use an online service. And I'll be using, for this demonstration, I'll be using pixlr.com. At this moment, they offer this free option uh, you can also use different tools. So this is just one selection and I'm using this one here because it's free. They have two options. Probably the advanced one is, I guess, paid, but I'm not sure. Uh, but they also have this one here called Playful Pixlr X. So I will use this one here. And at the moment I, uh, I click on it, then I have the option to create a new image, which is what I will do. So I will say create a new one. By default, they have certain dimensions that you can pick, which are the default thumbs that you can see over here on the in the main content. But also on the right side, you can specify here the width. So I will say, give me an image which is 1400 pixels wide and one which is 400 pixels in height. Uh, obviously, we want to have a transparent background. So I will not select the background. If I would select the background, that one would have uh, a background color, which we don't want. So I will keep this option off and I will tell it to, I want to create this new image. So this one is 1400 pixels wide. And in my case, I need one, which is 400 pixels in height. And that's the only thing we need. We, we can sell, simply store the image. Let me see where is the save button. Oh, there, there it is at the bottom, save. And I can tell it to use a particular uh, file extension and here be sure to use the PNG one. I think you can also use the WebP format, but uh, use the PNG one and don't use the JPEG one. The JPEG one will be smaller, but that one does not support transparency. So use the one for PNG and give this one a name. Let's call this one uh, transparent slide 14 by 400.png. I will say download and there we go. I will put it in my downloads folder, hit save. And the next step will be to import that one into the, in this case, WordPress website. So I will select one of these slides and let's say I want to replace all the, the slides here. Then I will click on the button to edit that individual slide. I will say, uh, select a new one, upload one which would be the one in my downloads. Oh, that's this one here. It just finished, it's 1400 by 400, which is what we want, hit save. And here you can see this image is now transparent and we can repeat the same step here. In this case, the image is already in our media manager. So I can now simply select this image and I will repeat the same step for this third slide or perhaps I should leave this one intact. You can see there's two transparent ones and there's also one which still has a non-transparent image. I will say hit okay. This is the transparent one. Then the second one is also a transparent one. And the third one, which shows up here, will again be an image. So in this case, the, the, the background of the image of the, the background of the website, I should say, is this white white color so you don't see the transparency here but for the other website that you were using david uh, you had a background image so in that case the background image will shine through and in this case the the text and the the title of each slide will show up here all right i hope this was helpful i hope by now you've learned how you can make transparent images of a particular dimension a particular width and a particular height using the pixlr.com free online tool. It's a great tool. I can highly recommend it. Works uh, flawless as you can see here. So thumbs up for Pixlr. 
If this video was helpful, if by now you've uh, managed to find a solution for the problem you had, please do a thumbs up because that would help our channel uh, to get some more subscribers or people viewing this particular video that would be really helpful for us and also if you like this video and you want to be kept up to date on all new videos we're posting be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to also click on the bell icon next to it if you want to be kept up to date on all new videos that we're posting okay guys thanks very much for watching and catch you in the next support video bye bye